Um, at some point we went upstairs. I, I, he came upstairs, but he went up to the third floor while I was in the main floor, the, the entry level floor. I went to make him a cup of coffee because he was demanding more Red Bull. And I was thinking that's probably not a good idea. I don't know why coffee would be so much better, but in my head it was. Uh, I thought maybe, I don't know, sober him up or I, I don't know. There was help was coming though. And I remember I made him coffee. As soon as I handed it to him, he threw it at the TV and started screaming again. It was like back to, back to square one. Shortly after that, security arrives. Um, I, I don't know how long, maybe a few seconds or minutes went by, not, not long, but they kind of find Johnny, or Johnny finds them walking out of the front door. And they were trying to figure out what was going on. And as they were kind of looking at him and I and trying to figure out what the heck was going on, Johnny took his um, penis out of his pants and started pee, tr trying to pee or peeing outside of the house saying that he had more messages for me. And this is in front of security. And they kind of just like looked at each other and looked at him and kind of not laughed, but kind of half, you know, played it off and corralled him. It was how, how it looked. It looked like corralling a wild animal back into the house with, you know, with his penis still out of his pants, peeing or trying to pee. That's what he was indicating. And he went to the wall of the house. And I remember him standing at the wall trying to leave me more, saying he was going to, he had more information for me. He was going to leave me more message, uh, more messages, more, more information for me. It made no sense.